Jai Mahamaya ki jai, Vishveshwari Mati ki jai, Bole Baba ki jai. We'll continue on chapter one. The Devi Vasundari earth is again the part of Mula Prakriti, roaming the other devas, all the munis, forty manas, and all men sing hymns to her. She is the support of all and filled with all sorts of grains. She is the source of all gems and jewels. She bears in her womb all the precious metals. All sorts of best things issue from her. She is the refuge of all. The subjects and kings worship her always and chant her hymns to her. All the jivas live through her and she bestows all sorts of wealth and prosperity. Without her, all this moving or non-moving beca become void of any substratum where to rest on. O child Narada, now hear about them who are issued again from the parts of Mahaprakriti as well as the names of their wives. I will now narrate duly. The Devi Swaha is the wife of Agni the fire, and the whole universe worships her. Without her, the Devi can never take any oblations. Dakshina and Diksha are both the wives of Yagya, the sacrifice. They are honored everywhere, so much so that without Dakshina, the fees paid given at the end of a sacrifice, no sacrificial ceremonies can be complete and fructifying. The Devi Swada is the wife of Pitras. All worship this Devi Swada. Whether they are Muis, Manus, Mins, if this mantra Swada is not uttered while making an offering to the Pitras, all turn out useless. The Devi Swasti is the wife of Vayudeva. She is honored everywhere in the universe. Without her Swasti Devi, no giving nor taking, nor any action can be fructified and useful. Pushti, nourishment, is the wife of Ganapati. All in this world worship this Pushti Devi. Without this Pushti, woman or men alike, all become weaker and weaker. Tusti, satisfaction and contentment, is the wife of Ananta Devi. She is praised and worshipped everywhere in this world. Without her, no one anywhere in this world can be happy. Sampati is the wife of Isana Deva, the Suras. The men all alike worship her. Were it not for her, all in this world would be oppressed and with dire poverty. The Devi Dirti is the wife of Kapila Deva. She is honored equally in all places. Were it not for her, all the people in this world would have become impatient. The Sati Devi is the wife of Satya Deva. True, she is endearing to the whole world. The liberated ones worship her always. Were it not for her truth loving Sati, the whole world would have lost the nature of friendship. Daya Mercy, endearing to the whole world, is the chaste wife of Mohadeva. She is liked by all. Were it not for her, all the world would have become hopeless. The Devi Pratista, fame and celebrity, is the wife of Punyadeva. Merit. She gives merits to persons according as they worship her. Were it not for her, all the persons would remain dead while living. The Devi Kirti, fame, is the wife of Sukarma, good works. Herself, Asida, all, one who has acquired all the results of one's successes, are all the blessed people, honor her with great reverence. Were it not for her, all the persons in this world would have been dead, devoid of any fame. Kriya, work, efforts, actions, doing, is the wife of Udyoga, enthusiasm. All honor her greatly. O Muni Narada, were it not for her, the whole world would be void of any rules and regulations. Falsehood is the wife of Adharma, unrighteousness. She is honored greatly by all the chief that are extant in this world. Were she not liked by them, then all the chiefs would become extinct. She did not fall in the sight of anybody in the Satya Yuga. Her subtle form became visible in the Treta Yuga. When the Dwarpa Yuga came, she became half-developed, and at last, when the Kali Yuga has come, 
she is fully developed and there is no second to her whether in bold confidence and shamelessness or in talking much and pervading everywhere with her brother deceitfulness she roams from one house to another peace and modesty and shame are both the wives of good behavior were they not existent in this world would have turned out deluded and mad intelligence genius and fortitude these three are the wives of yana knowledge deva had they not lived everyone would become stupid and inane murti is the wife of dharma devi she is the nature of beauty to all and very charming were it not for her paramatman would not get any resting place and the whole universe would have become without any place to rest this chase murti devi is of the nature of splendor loveliness and lakshmi she is everywhere respected worshipped and revered sleep the city yogini is the wife of rudra deva who is the nature of kala agni the universe of conflagration at the breakup of the world all the jivas spend their nights with her the twilight night and day are the wives of kala time if they did not exist the creator even would not be able to reckon time hunger and thirst are the wives of lopa covetousness they are thanked for respected and worshiped by the whole world had they not lived the whole world would be have merged ever in an ocean of anxieties splendor and burning capacity are the wives of the tejas the fire without these the lord of the world would never have been created and established order in this universe death and old age are the daughters of Kal and the dear wives of Javara. Without these, all the creation would come to an end. The Tandra, drowsiness, the satitude, and Priti, satisfaction, are the daughters of Nidra, sleep, and they are the dear wives of Sukha, pleasure. They are present everywhere in this world. O Vesta Muni, Shraddha, bathe in Bhakti, devotion, are the wives of your Brahm, this passion. From them, the persons can become liberated while living. Besides these, there's a Diti, the mother of the gods, Saruba, and mother of the cows, Diti, the mother of the Devtas, Kadru, the mother of the Nagas, the serpents, the Nata, the mother of Garuda, the prince of the birds, and Danu, and the mother of the Navas. All are very useful for the purpose of creation. But these are still parts of Mahmuda Prakriti. Jay Mahamaya Ki Jay Vishvishvari Mati Ki Jay Bule Baba Ki Jay.